Hi guys, um, so some of you might be wondering why we're changing these already. They look like they've got plenty of meat left on them. So there's, there's still some tungsten on there. But the reason we're doing it is because if you look in there, it's just starting to wear the back of the boot. I don't know if I can, I'll show you on this one. It's just starting to wear the back of the boot where the seed comes out and we start getting spray out and also around the front here it's all sort of, and then the roll pins start to break off and you start to lose the feet and it wears the pins underneath. Welcome back everybody. So today is Monday the 21st of September. It's pretty warm. It's 21.5 degrees. It's just after lunch. We're down here drilling on the north eastern-most part of the estate in a field called War Hill. There's a mixture of chalky loam going right through to some pretty heavy red clay. As you saw earlier on in the video, I've replaced all of the Dutch openers on the drill this morning. The ones that were on there still seemed like they had lots of life in them, but they started to wear away the leg where they bolt to. And I had a couple just break around where the pin goes through, the roll pin. So I think it was time to change it. As you probably noticed, my hands in a bit of bandage. Just after I finished doing the Dutch openers this morning, there was a flint I saw jammed in some of the frame on the, on the drill, so I went and hit it with a hammer and a bar missed completely and smacked straight in the side of my hand there, so just split my hand a little bit and they're a bit sore. We're drilling today at 150 kilos per hectare, and that's a list of winter wheat. The green cover only goes in the same sort of depth as all the seed rapes, so I had to, to change that a little bit and, and change it to, to my wheat setting, which is black and yellow. As you can probably see in the video, there's a load more of our Hampshire diamonds out there, and some of them are that big in places. When I get to the real big ones, I'll have to stop and just move them out of the way so they don't damage anything when they go through. As you can see there, my mark for the centre line of the bonnet is actually where my wheel is. And then the drill is hanging down, but still meeting up nicely. GPS is a wonderful thing! Gotta love it! There's the old boy, the old man's turned up with the seed. <laughs> 